Hello and welcome back, Mrs. Kaufman's class, Mrs. Hauk's class, and Mrs. Witty's class. We're going to do a very short math lesson today with Jimmy, which I'm sure most of you will be very happy about. Um, we're going to look at facilities real quick. The only page, if you read the directions, so the only page we're going to look at is this page. Um, it reminded us that in Lesson 8, Robert tried to decide um, to which of two cities he would rather move based on comparing their mean annual temperatures. Since the mean yearly temperature for New York City and San Francisco turned out to be about the same, he decided instead to compare the cities based on the variability in their monthly temperatures from the overall mean. He looked at the two distributions and decided that the New York City temperatures were more spread out from their mean than were the San Francisco temperatures from their mean. Okay, okay, remember, variability, go ahead and circle the word if you have your book in front of you. Variability, remember, is kind of the spread of data in a distribution from some focal point. And we use that focal point, that triangle we drew on here, which was the mean. What does a distribution that has no variability look like? Well, <laughs> all the points are the same. Here's one that basically, there's no variability. There's no variety, as we would say. I have here for you is I have on your math book there are a total of seven cities and we don't know the names of the cities they're just labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. What I would like for you to do is I want you to look at these cities and I'm going to ask you to answer three questions for me. Okay, three questions. I want you to look at them and decide which one of, of these cities has the least amount of variability or I always look think like to use this trick word here called variety. Um, which one of these has the least variety? Tell me which city you think it is and why. And then the next question asks, um, wants to know which distribution seems to have the most variability. Now, you might have want more than one answer. And if you do, tell me the cities that you chose and then explain why you think they have the most variety or variability. And then the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to have you write the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and not in alphabetical order, but I want you guys to look at this picture and I want you to list for me on your paper. Oops, hold on. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to list the cities in order from the least variability to the most variability, okay? Least, the least variety. Okay, um, all you have to put is the letters, put them in order. If you have any questions about this Google slide that you need to fill in, please contact me or respond on your Google Classroom. Otherwise, because math lesson is short today, make sure you have finished your extra math lesson. If not, you could do some Prodigy or Moby Max Math. See you all tomorrow.